How's it going everybody? This is Pete the Bush. This is GSI Outdoor Spice Rack. Today we're going to take a quick close look at this and I'm going to give you my opinion on when you can use something like this. Keep in mind that I also have the Spice Missile and also the Pepper Grinder from the same company. I gave the Spice Missile a quick use and I found that if you add pepper in it, it goes really, really fast. I basically use almost all of my pepper in one single meal. So I'm like, okay, I need more pepper if I'm going to be able to last a couple of meals with this spice missile. So I got this pepper mill over here. Depending on how much spice you use, I also think that the garlic powder won't last very long, maybe one or two meals or so. So the spice missile is really for one to three meals maximum. So if you're going to do a trip that's more than one day, I'd say you should go with the spice rack instead. And this probably will last you at most four days, maybe if you stretch it seven days or so. Let's open this up and take a closer look. It comes in this strange little rubber band thing. It's hard to take out actually. And then you gotta screw these two sides off. That pulls right off. Here's a list of spices. I think I got one missing over here. I think that's pepper. Salt, pepper, cinnamon, sugar, garlic, oregano, thyme, rosemary, sage, parsley, onion, basil, cocoa, paprika, chili, cumin, ginger, dill, and six more that you can customize yourself. Personally, this little rubber thing, I think I'm not gonna use this. It's such a pain to put this on and off. But I guess if you want to string all these together so they kind of stay together, then yeah, I guess you can use this little rubber thing. First of all, you got six spices and one single black cap. You can use this to identify the salt and pepper easily. And it comes with six caps to sprinkle your spices, four little whole ones and two big whole ones, about 1.8 millimeter diameter for the small holes and about 3.8 for the big holes. When you look at these things, they look like they have equal amount of space on both sides, but they don't. Check out my finger. It goes a little bit deeper on one side than the other. So all three does the same thing. So whatever that you use more volume of, you can put it in the bigger compartment. Snapping it back on, you just go like that and put in the lid, one, two, three, three and a half turns or so, put in that lid. Let me demonstrate by putting some garlic powder in one of them. Kind of try to not to make a mess here. Okay, fill it up as much as I can and put the little hole on it. And there we go. Now, something I don't like about the lids is that there's like a little lip over here. This makes it so that the lid sits a little bit above this flat surface. So if you close this, even though this surface is completely clean, you close it, right? And then you get transported, you shake it around. Look what happens when you open it back up. There's spice there because they left a space for the spice to come out. So what do you do? I guess you just use some of this. You gotta use your finger, kind of swipe all that off onto your food, and that's just the way it's going to be. I think they did that because sometimes you're gonna have some spices sitting on top, and if this is completely flat, then you can't completely screw it back on. I'm gonna put on one of the stickers just to demonstrate. This sticker, garlic sticker. Put it right on the side here. Are you going to put the other sticker right side up or are you going to flip it over and then put the sticker? I think it's best to put both of them the same way so that you can stand them all up and read all six spices. Well, that's a disaster. I'm going to have to remake this sticker. This looks terrible. I can't read anything. Thanks for watching this video. I have an affiliate link for these products down in the video description below. Give me a like on this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.